You don't need an introduction, do you, RJ? So, sorry for the background noise you that you may hear. Welcome to the RJ pipe bomb that I'm about to do. And it's going to be called generational syndrome. Or for short and sweet, we're going to call it the RJ syndrome. And we have to talk about y'all that are suffering the generational syndrome and the RJ syndrome. Generational like every three years, we have to throw a term of generational around the around the National Football League media. And it's not only Caleb Williams that's getting it, even though Caleb Williams had a terrible year. And I don't know why he's being crowned. Like, what has he done to consider being a generational talent? And this is where RJ will come into play sooner or later. And, you know, his um, people that he brainwashed. Be, and let's get to RJ, um, the RJ syndrome, right after I say this. And it's going to be like a combination of the RJ syndrome and the, the generational syndrome. It's people like him are the reason why NFL fans put way too much expectations on a quarterback, such as... They are supposed to be generational and they fall flat on their face. The only quarterback that was deemed generational that actually live up to the expectation generational is, quote unquote, um, Andrew Luck. Now, let's get to the RJ syndrome and how people like love listening to RJ, which RJ, I'll admit he does make some good content because I do get in, in not really inspired by him, but I do like some of his videos. But there's some how he views the NFL is completely wrong. And we're going and this is where the fanboys of RJ come right to play. So, one second. Just because RJ was right about Daniel Jones does not make him a smart individual. Because if you don't know, RJ is a Giants fan. If you if you all already do not know, he basically is not a fan of Daniel Jones. And because he said that Daniel Jones sucked and he's going to have a setback year and when everybody was coming at him with the whole Daniel Jones will be good. And now everyone's changed their opinion because RJ was right about Daniel Jones and they're really like, we have to strike lightning from the top and we have to continue to keep drafting until we get it right. And that's how the NFL is. That's everybody's mindset. Whatever RJ says, like, my question is to the followers, if RJ asked you to jump off a bridge, would you? Because I have a feeling all his cult of, like, RJ has a cult of followers that just agree with everything he says. Like, RJ just wants yes men at the end of the day. And RJ, I've said this before, you pretend to be smart. Remove your dumbass afro. You look like you look like a fucking crackhead, bro. <laughs> So, RJ, listen to me, RJ. I want you to listen to this. I hate this idea that you think that you are a sm smarter than everybody because you're not. I'm the best. I'm the best Chicago Bears content creator of all time. There is nobody on my level, RJ. 
There is nobody on my level. You hear that, RJ? You hear that, RJ? I know you can't stand me. And that's okay. And I commend you for it because you got all the people fooled that you were right about Daniel Jones. And basically, um, it's changing everyone's mindset about how the NFL works. But you haven't changed this person's full, uh, mind yet, RJ. And RJ, when you came on my Greg Roman stream, there was already a Chicago Bears fan knowing that you were wrong and he was roasting you, calling you a Mr. Potato looking ass. Because that is true. You look like a Mr. Potato ass. Maybe if I cut your skin, you'll turn, you'll you'll look like a, a cut fucking potato. Do they make RJ French fries? Do they make RJ French fries? Hey, am I pissed? Hey, RJ, am I could am I gonna get donkey of the day after this? After you react to this, um, on your unfiltered sports podcast, am I gonna get donkey of the day? Am I gonna get it? Am I gonna get donkey of the day, RJ? Am I gonna get it? Well, guess what, RJ? Give me donkey of the day. Give it to me. Give it to me. And also, RJ, I saw you complaining about me not having socks on my video. Well, guess what? I have socks now, RJ. So, RJ, just because... Look, I just want this to be mentioned to everybody. People like RJ set the expectations on like somebody and then it sets them up to fail. Go look at the video he did about Justin Fields. That set him up to fail and basically he said he's going to potentially set up Caleb Williams to fail. So, and... It's just, I love when RJ just like pretends to be smart. RJ, you're not smart. If you were on any other, sh um, like if RJ was on any other um, analyst show, ESPN, First Take, um, Pat McAfee show, he would run out of football facts and then result to calling the people on the panel uh, personal insults. It's just, Never fear, RJ. Never fear, RJ. Which I actually respect. Our, um, I'm actually, I, you know, RJ doesn't make bad. Well, he does make bad content all the time, but some of the time, you know, he's actually makes good content. You know, I gotta give credit where credits due, RJ. And RJ, listen, just accept the fact that you are not smart. And you may you may be thinking to yourself, well, well, I may not be smart, but I'm smarter than you. RJ, if you have that expectation of how you think of me, that clearly means you're dumb. Because if you view me as the dumbest individual that you have ever met and the worst football fan that you have ever met in your entire life, if you have that expectation that you are smarter than me, then um then you are an idiot, RJ. You actually might be a worse idiot than, than Colin Cower, because at least Colin Cower does it for clicks. You just say it to be a dumbass. So never fear, RJ, because th you may have uh, banned me, uh, not technically because I can still comment on your videos, which I still tag you, but you banned me on the panel until after the Super Bowl um so by um in two weeks time i will be um unbanned from going on rj's channel i mean let's be honest um if i were to go on rj's channel basically you know and there would be people clowning me but if rj were to come over here where there's tons of bears fans i'm pretty sure they would be clowning on him and i just did a video on rj 
before this video, and this is why I call it the RJ syndrome and the generational syndrome. It's just like those two pills, like they're a combination of syndromes. It's just like we get it, RJ. You were right about Daniel Jones. Everybody give a round of applause to RJ. He was right about Daniel Jones. Doesn't make you smart, RJ. R. You know what? Fuck this shit. RJ. Let me do this, and I want you to get a close view eye on me while I'm doing this. Just because you were right about Daniel Jones does not make you smarter. It does not make... Give me donkey of the day. And I'll... Look at me, RJ. I want you to give me donkey of the day, you crackhead. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me, RJ. 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 I'm the best in the world. I'm the best in the world.